Hey guys, Luke Kim here to do another 2015 Super League preview. I keep wanting to say NRL, but it's not NRL, obviously. Uh, this episode, we're going to be going over Adam Cutherson signing with the Leeds Rhinos. Now, overall, I'll just give my thoughts on the signing, and I'm going to say I think it's a pretty good one from Leeds. He's probably a bit underrated. Um, I don't, he, I'm not going to say he's like a real strong like superstar player or anything, but you know he's a solid. He's a solid player. Um, he still can he can still go. I'm not sure of his age. We'll just check his age actually. Uh, so identity. Oh, I, they actually kind of have him done. I think. Well, I, I reckon that's what Cutherson sort of looks like. Can't remember if he wears headgear still. So, um, 85. So he's about 29, I think, ish. Um, 83 rated, probably a bit too high for him. But same time, um, he's a pretty skillful player. Uh, he offloads quite good. Um, he's, I suppose, he's consistent. I mean, at times he's inconsistent. It's it's hard to remember because I haven't seen like a lot of Adam Cutherson. Um, he's been around for a while, and I know I remember at Manly him being okay, um, being like a bench player when they were like when they were good, like when Manly were the best side, a seven or eight, sort of being uh, on the bench. And that I think he played in the 2007 Grand Final. I believe he also played in the World Club Challenge in 2009. Um, I think he was like 18th and 19th man or something for the the win in 2008. Um, and then he made a big, a big money move to the Sharks, I think, and oh, I don't know what Ricky Stewart was doing. Another one of Ricky Stewart's dumb signings that, you know, he seems to make, um, sign him for big money and then didn't play him. I don't know what happened, whether he doesn't have a good work ethic, like what's, what happened, went to Dragons with Wayne Bennett, then ended up just seemingly like following Wayne Bennett everywhere, uh, and, uh, but the Knights, and I think at Knights he trimmed up, or maybe it was at, um, Dragons trimmed up a lot. Uh, he was a little bit chubby before, and then he, he might still be now, but um, I think he, he got a lot fitter and she made him play a lot better. Uh, um, yeah, he wasn't like a real... I don't think he was one of the players who, you know, was picked every week for first grade, I think, but I think he's a solid enough player, and I think he could cement a spot in the, the lead side. I, I'm not sure whether being a starter or anything, but, uh, you know, the bench spot, it's 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 there. It's up for grabs, uh, I reckon, for sure. Uh, I don't think he would have been signed on a on a huge contract. Um, I believe Leeds Leeds would um would have that sort. I mean, they've got one of the better sides in Super League, so uh, in comparison to the rest of the team, I don't think he'd be on huge money. Um, so that's a good thing for them. He's he's a, he's a good depth signing. He's a good squad player. Uh, I don't think he's not going to be your star player, but um, you know he he'd be a good solid signing for any Super League side. Just in my opinion, just due to the fact that he's got a little bit of footwork. He's got yeah, he's got an offload. Um, you know, he's, he's an okay player. Um, so th that's my thoughts on Adam Cuthbertson. Leave in the comments um, section, what, what are your thoughts on Adam Cuthbertson signing? I know Super League's actually started by the time this is going up. I don't know how he's been playing or anything, or any of these players in particular. So um, no point in telling me, oh, you're wrong, he's been playing shit, or been playing good, or um, that sort of stuff, because it really, um, I've done this before. I've even seen any footage or anything. So um, yeah, there's that. So make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and um, I'll see you for my next video, guys. Bye.